Awesome. Yeah. So my name is Kevin Brown. Uh, I'm actually from Belize. If you don't know where that is, it's just a little south of Mexico, a little small country, a couple hundred islands. Uh, I'm an AME here at Jazz Technical Services. I've been here for about six years now. So I started off as an apprentice, uh, became licensed, and now uh, I'm an ACA. So I have the endorsement on the Q400. Um, yeah. So growing up in Belize, uh, me and my father would always work on boats. So you know, I'd always be passing in tools and things of that nature. So I was I always had an aptitude for mechanical, uh, but I never really shared the same passion for boats as he did. But as a kid, he would take me to the airport just to watch airplanes take off. So I had more of an interest in aviation. So it kind of made sense for me to come do this course here. So I like it a lot. So I've been in AME for six years. I was an apprentice first and you know, you build your way up right, you become licensed and Jazz does a great job of helping you get your logbook signatures, giving you the proper training that you need. So yeah, six years really flew by. Right, so becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer, you have first have to complete the course. Uh, what's different about the course is there's a lot of practical as well as theory. So I went to NSCC and literally downstairs in our hand in our school, there's a hangar filled with aircraft. So you get to the practical as well as the theory. It's a two-year course, and then you have to become an apprentice when you get hired. Uh, and that could take, depending on how fast you get through your signature, it could take a couple of years. And uh, yeah, after that, you become licensed by Transport Canada, and you're ready to go. I would say my favorite part about working here is the diversity. There's so many people here from different parts of the world, so you get to meet people from all different backgrounds. Uh, I like to do a lot of traveling, so people give me advice on where to go when I go to the Philippines, or where to go when I go to France, and you know, just getting used to how different people work, I think is a great asset. Being a part of the team is definitely the way to work. Okay. So what's great is that when I was in my firm, my final few months of my course, Jazz uh, set the stage for people who wanted to work here by allowing interviews at our campus. So you applied online and we had the interview actually on campus. And I'd say at the time about 70% of my graduating class got hired here. So I'm surrounding, surrounded by my classmates. So it's been eight years now and I'm still around these guys. <laughs> I enjoy working on vessels that fly tens of thousands of feet in the air, several hundred kilometers an hour, knowing that a brilliant team came together to build it and a brilliant team came together to maintain it. Uh, I take a lot of pride in that. It's pretty fun going on flights and yapping off to my wife, telling her things, spewing out facts that I know about the aircraft. She loves it. She doesn't like it. <laughs> Um, advice I'll give them. Uh, when someone is giving you advice or trying to teach you something, whether you know what they're talking about or not, don't interrupt them. Just pay attention to what they have to say because you might learn something. And even if you didn't learn anything, it's kind of just a show of respect because some of these guys have been working on these aircrafts for over 20 years and they have a wealth of knowledge. You'd be surprised what you could learn if you just pay a little attention. 